Hello everybody and welcome to this exciting announcement today. When you're gonna see that video, I can proudly confirm that the costumes from Heavy Armor are ported over onto the female proportions. Everything is based on the meta human tall normal weight setup, as we did on the males right now. As you can see here, the royals, the death knights as well. Here compared to the male, everything is a little bit more bulky on him but the, um, she is still appearing pretty heavy in terms of the proportions. Here you also see two different variations. I made here a few test cases where I also put the um, Quinn into the mesh master slot. When you would go with your um, tall normal red proportions, the character would feel a little bit um, lower in terms of height. I made here some comparisons for you, as you can see here. This is based now on the tall underweight proportions and this lady here as well is on the normal weight. Everything is a little bit more thinner on the underweight proportions because the hip area is more thin compared to the normal weight. But this could also work. It depends on um, what you have in mind with these ladies. And if I would, for example, put in here now Quinn, As you can see, everything is a little bit more stretched, but it's more higher. This could be also working for you. It depends what you want to do with these. The Quinn proportions are definitely more gainy compared to the meta human ones, but they feel a little bit stronger from my point of view. We have the Death Knights, same as shown in the other showcase videos before. You can change any time um, the material variations of these chests. And same applies for the cloths and for the boots and for the shoes. Here, let's change the shoes, for example, like this one. Or if you want to even make it a little bit more darker. This depends how you want to compile these. This video is more like an update now that I'm going to show you for um, the lady costumes. Opa. Here as well. For the nightish ladies. Everything comes together pretty well. And here's again the comparison with the meta human ones. And it's still holding up if you're going to go closer. Texture size is still um, 2K. 4K textures would explode the whole submit. And I think with 2K textures you can still go um, close enough for these. Here are some material variations based on the costumes with our dress up library. I used um, as well uh, my base body based on the UE4 mannequin proportions. And this is, you could also use this one if you don't want to use your meta human, that's also fine. It depends if you want to have it as an avatar or as your NPC. Here as well, some costumes. Everything is also uh, with cloths working well. As well, more variations. As shown in the other videos before, everything is included. Let us take a look. You have now in the UE5 mannequin folder, there's a female and the male folder. And here you have the physics asset as well for the cloth itself. If you want to play around or import your custom stuff, make sure that the cloth doesn't um, intersect with the pants. Okay, this was just intended to be a quick overview, like an announcement for you. Um, many thanks definitely for your support and the trust in our products. Um, you can always reach out to us, connect to us on Discord if you have any additional questions. And I'm going to wish you all a pretty great day. And I hope you're going to like that update. Have a great one. Many thanks. Ciao.